thanks for joining me as I talk about the alpha-glucosidase inhibitors. A carbose is an alpha-glucosidase and an alpha-amylase inhibitor. And in order to understand a carbose, we're going to uh, have to understand what is alpha-glucosidase and alpha-amylase. Obviously, they're enzymes because of the fact that it has the ACE apex. Um, but in order to understand the rest of it, we're going to have to go back to our physiology. So back in the physiology, remember with the carbohydrates that we weren't able to take a big polysaccharide or even a disaccharide and absorb it. And it's not going to be able to be broken down in just the acids. What it actually needs, what the disaccharides and the polysaccharides need is an enzyme to cleave a bond because these carbohydrates, these polysaccharides and disaccharides are really just sugar, sugars that have bonds in between them. And we need specific enzymes to break up those bonds. And I'll give you an, an example. So sucrose is a disaccharide. So it's got the glucose and it's got the fructose. And in between, there's a bond. In order to get that glucose and fructose into your system, you're going to need to break that bond. Now, we take sucrase from the brush board of your enzymes and break it. So, there you go. What happens, though, if you don't have that enzyme? Well, if you don't have sucrase, what ends up happening is that the disaccharide stays as a disaccharide. It's an osmotically active particle and it goes through the gastrointestinal tract, sucking in water and creating diarrhea. And what happens if you don't have the enzymes that are necessary for the degradation of polysaccharides? Well, those stay intact and then they go down to the intestinal bacteria and the intestinal bacteria have a field day. They're munching down on carbohydrates. And what you end up with is a lot of gas, a lot of flatulence, a lot of bloating, and diarrhea. So those are the adverse effects of a carbose. Another problem with a carbose comes from the fact that a lot of the people on a carbose also are on a hypoglycemic drug, for instance, insulin. Um, if the person is on a hypoglycemic drug that can cause hypoglycemia, uh, sometimes they're kind of used to the fact that they can drink a certain drink and actually relieve that hypoglycemia that's about to occur. But with a carbose, it's important to instruct the patient that that drink that they're taking needs to contain glucose now because the carbose is going to prevent the degradation of the bond between things like sucrose and therefore it is very possible that their hypoglycemia would not resolve with the same treatment that they had taken previously. Another problem with a carbose is that there have been reports of hepatitis being caused by a carbose and therefore the liver enzymes should be taken. Mm -hmm.